Welcome to this video. In this video we will show how you can configure individual complex systems in a Sorel controller. We'll do so using the weather compensated heating controller XHCC as an example, which has 11 outputs before summer 2017 and 13 outputs afterwards. Like all Sorel controllers, the first step is always to choose a basic system and to do so you enter the menu 7 special functions select the first item program selection and here you get a list of typical systems um, composed of different heat sources one or two heating circuits and so on but for this purpose here I would just select a very simple system with a com combination storage and one mixed heating circuit save the changes and here I see a list of the outputs I have and the functions they fulfill at this moment for example relay 4 opens the mixer relay 5 closes it but as I can see relay 1 for example is without a function so to change that I select this relay I get a list of available extra functions which are already pre-configured and in my system I have chosen I might use um, a heat source like a burner for example so let's add a burner below it always gives a brief explanation of what this function actually does so now I switch it on I can change the, the sensor for the burner if I want to but I'll just leave it like that for now exit the burner save the changes yes and now if you go back to the main screen by pressing escape you see that the burner is now integrated into your system. So as we've seen, if we go back to special functions, I see that we have additional relays still without a function, so I can do the same for another function. Select relay 2, for example. I might add a second heating circuit. I have some universal functions available as well, like a general temperature difference, a thermostat function, and so on but I could also, for example, add a second heat source like a solar thermal system, let's say. So again, I press info, use output to control a solar pump. Yes, that's what I want to do, so I switch it on. I leave the sensors again, so I just exit solar, saving the changes. And again, going back to the main screen, I see that also solar has been integrated. So. At this moment there are about 23 extra functions available which are partly specific like solar and the burner and partly universal like a temperature difference and thermostat function and you can repeat this principle that we've just seen over and over until the system is complete or out all outputs are used and in case you need more outputs than what you have available in a given controller you can just add more Sorel controllers to the system which communicate by CAN bus um, that is the controllers communicate with each other and can for example exchange information about the outdoor temperature so they work like one controller but it's all very modular and flexible um, and still you don't need to be a programmer to configure the system very easily and very quickly by the way the system you compose in the controller is also built up automatically in the matching Sorel Connect app which we see here from a PC browser but which is also available for tablets or smartphones. Inside the app you have some more features beyond the visualization like a remote control, um, some energy statistics or a service screen um, which are all accessible by the navigation bar on the top of that page but the app itself is now not part of this video. The PC simulation used here is available for free to all our customers so if you find it interesting just let us know and likewise if you have any questions call us anytime send us an email write a comment and well thanks for watching and goodbye